when you skin, it's the the walking action is quite bizarre. It's a little bit different from from normal type of walking. So instead of picking your feet up, you're going to just slide your feet along the ground like you're trying to stroke the ground like stroking the skin. Yeah. So I'm sliding the skis forward. So it's not this like you walk normal. Just pushing. It's pushing your knee forward. Yeah. Got that? So you can have a go now. Let's see how you go on. <laughs> Tell me about your first ski mountain only previous to Lee. Yeah, it's pretty good. It's pretty good. Uh, I found some of the icy bits a bit tricky. My right foot kept slipping away, and like you say, I kept leaning forward a lot. You gotta be counterintuitive. You gotta lean your ankles out and you gotta lean backwards. So uh, everything you don't want to do on a big icy slope basically. What do you think of the view around here? Well I mean it's not bad, but I'm from Lancashire, so I've got a very high standard. Yeah, right here is the last seam point, so off you go. So you're, this is the last seam point? Correct. So you want to basically, if you can, keep your board on until the pinpoint part, yeah? You got a signal, yeah? Yeah, I've got a signal, yeah. Cool. Eight, so you got the pinpoint now. Tell me where, exactly where it is, yeah? Yeah. yeah okay, probe out. That's it, yeah. Probe in the point where you said it was. Just that, that, I think that's ground, mate. <laughs> Just pull that out. All right. <laughs> Try again. You, you should hit something that feels like a rucksack. Uh, it's hard to tell. I think that's ground again. Okay. It looks like it's ground because it's coming up muddy, eh? <laughs> what happens if you strike oil? Ah. Yes? Yeah, that's, that's the monkey. So now, we're going to dig just there, yeah? That might be the ground, actually. Oh, that's it. Oh, lordy. It's the ground, the little monkey. Oh, the ground. Okay, keep... Pro oh, oh, there he on. is. Right, okay. There he is. It was the ground. You can breathe. What did you think of the sort of, that whole procedure? I thought it was good. I'd like to do it a couple more times, I sure. reckon. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Because obviously I messed up taking my board off too uh -huh. early. Yeah, yeah, yeah. off. Because we'd done it before, just walking. One of the things I learned, you know, I actually got avalanched about um, two years ago, and I went quite a long way. And the first thing that the, the clients did, I'd just be like hundreds of meters down the slope, and the first thing they did was take their skis off. And then gradually realized that a couple of hundred meters down, there's this figure waving down here. They've got to go back up the debris to get their skis on and to come and get me. Yeah. So, you know, it, it is a fact that, you know, most avalanche practices, you know, transceiver practices take place with skis off but the reality is you keep your skis on until you get to the pinpoint if at all possible nice day in the office Me such a girl. That's it. I prefer it like this. It's safer. <laughs> Your speciality the human avalanche. That's what you think of skinny now. It's like some form of punishment. Must have been having ill thoughts. <laughs> been sent on a three day cleansing course. Say it again, I've been a bad boy. I have been a bad boy. I must be punished. Punish me again, Andy. <laughs> Harder. <laughs>
de-skinning the split top. I think.